Hello YouTube, Kyle here with another ORCID video. <clears throat> this one is going to be on my uh, one and only Mastavalia that's in my collection. Um, this is uh, Mastavalia Viciani, or Viciana. Um, it's probably one of my favorite Mastavalias. Uh, uh, it's really beautiful. I'm going to put a picture of the bloom, what the bloom looks like at the end of this video. Um, now, this is a cool growing orchid. It does require cool, cooler conditions to grow best and also to bloom. Um, Mastavellias require uh, 50 uh, to 65 at night and in the daytime. Uh, uh, if they're cooler growing, uh, they shouldn't get over uh, 75. Now, I live in Florida where it gets over 100, so... Um, <clears throat> these do require that they have a um, a location where it is cooler. Um, and that is the only thing that really repelled me from not wanting to buy Massavillias is because I didn't think I could take care of them in the climate that I live in. But I found something really cool on eBay. I found these uh, orchid cool growing pots right here. I found them on eBay. They come they come in three sizes, small, medium, and large. I, I bought th a pack of three large. And um, what they do is um, they keep the plant eight to ten to, uh, uh, eight to ten degrees cooler than what the normal temperature would be around the plant, and that really helps me maintain um, a good uh, growing uh, Mastavalia. <clears throat> and this has been growing like crazy in this pot. I just have it in my bedroom. It's like 80 right now in, in my bedroom. And uh, uh, this is a new growth since I had it. And this leaf here is a new growth since I've had it. And then there's another leaf right here popping up. So uh, this Master Velia really likes uh, this pot. Um, and so I'm probably going to get two other Master Velias and put them in, in the leftover pots that I have. And I'll put pictures. Um, of these pots too um, after the video but um, yeah master values are cool growing if you um, are um, reluctant to get a master value because of the reason that they do require cool temperatures to grow don't um, let that bother you too much um, there are warmer tolerant uh, master values out there master value Viciani is probably one of the easiest master values to grow um, now, how these pots work is, um, you can see that there's a cone down there. And that the drain holes are raised a little bit above the pot. And this allows a little bit of water to sit at the bottom. Just a tiny bit. And what happens is the water evaporates from the pot. And you can even see this, this pot is um, darker than this one because it, I, did, I just watered it um, today. So, um, and what happens is the water evaporates from the pot and causing it uh, to um, be cooler than it, than it normally would be. So this is right now is 8 to uh, 10 degrees cooler than the room temperature. So, um, and my room temperature right now is uh, 77 degrees right now in my room. Um, and that's warm because our AC broke, so <laughs> so it's, it's been really hot um, here at, at my house. But this is just a little trick that I came up with or I discovered on um, eBay. And I uh, tried out. These do work. Um, the, all these um, new growths have um, come up. All these three right here have shot up since I've had the plant. So it is growing really nice in these pots. So, and uh, like I said before, Massive uh, Value of each, uh, Anna is one of the easiest Massive Values to grow. Um, I paid um, on eBay for the plant. I paid $21, um, and that was with the shipping. Um, that's not bad at all. When you see the blooms on it, you'll be like, wow, that's a really beautiful Massive Value. So, there you go. I hope you like this Massive Value. Oh, also, too, um, I believe I went over the temperature. Uh, with master values, I think I did. Okay, um, this one likes medium bright light and bright and direct light, so I have it in my window. It also all master values require that um, you use either rainwater or distilled or reverse os osmosis water. 
Um, you cannot use uh, um, uh, faucet water um, out of your faucet because of all the uh, salts and phosphates and all the um, all the chemicals that are in it and and uh, the chlorine in it will um, damage the roots and eventually kill your plant. So they do require clean water. Um, what I do is um, I have about five big um, like two liter bottles and when it rains I'll go outside and put the water bottles under our um, under our uh, drainage uh, system our roof our gutters and I'll let them fill up so I always have uh, rain water so um, there you go uh, comment let me know um, how you thought about this video I hope you like this Massavelia and I will be putting a picture of the uh, the blooms uh, on uh, the at the end of this video so I hope you like it and uh, have a great day bye